At ease, soldiers. Sergeant Fury here. Wanted to do a quick video. I'm going to test my microphone, too. I might have to actually spend some money on a better microphone. This thing seems to be crackling and acting stupid. And I'm not quite sure what's going on. But uh, let me get this off the screen. I want to talk about two things real quick. One is a friendly fire. As you know, friendly fire is going to be turned on here in the new ghost mode. And in the main game itself, if you're in ghost mode and you do, you know, if you're one of these people who are going to go ahead and do, you know, random players, you know, matchmaking, then you're going to be asking for trouble, okay? Because I guarantee you there's going to be people that are going to come in and just, you know, cause you a bunch of shit and either kill you and leave and screw up your whole ghost mode thing. Or they're going to, you know, you're going to go down and they're not going to get you up and screw up your ghost mode. The other big, big, big problem is, and I'm sure Delta Elite is going to cover all this crap since he's a ghost war player, is in player versus player. Because there you have no control over the match. So you're going to get some guy on your team, and he's going to TK you guys, and he's going to screw everything up because that's all they have to do. They just keep jumping in there and shooting and shooting and shooting. Okay, so how, how they're going to remedy that? How we fix it in Arma 3 is you have admins on the server. Most of the time there's an active admin on every server. Okay, and that's because... People get to run their own servers. Even Bohemian Interactive has admins on their servers that they run. And if somebody starts TKing people or blowing up assets or acting, you know, cheating, using some cheat, they just kick them off the server. They ban them from the server. And then they could do a battle eye global ban, which hoses your whole Steam account and all your games and everything. Okay, so that's how they deal with it on the Steam side and Valve and all that. Now, the other problem is I want to talk about real quick. Let's go over here now. Is this observer mode. Okay. The big problem that we're going to see with observer mode is people are going to be able to jump on Discord with their friends and sit there and tell you where the other players are on the other team, right? Because all they got to do is be in observer mode. Now, I'm sure people are going to already try that with this you know, delayed stream, but delaying a live stream is not the same as somebody being in observer mode on Discord, dude. Observer mode on Discord is them being in the game itself, right, as a player, right, or somebody who wants to observe and hanging out with these guys and saying, yeah, let me go tell you where they're at. Okay, so... I'm not sure if observer mode only works the way you see it here where you can only, you know, observe these guys. And when you try to zoom over there and look at the other guys, it doesn't show you, which it doesn't make any sense. Because you can see it says free camera, right? Cycle through players, player locked. Even if you can only do on these guys, you can go up high enough and tell them, hey, he's here, he's there. He's, you know what I mean? So I can already see a big abuse on this sucker right here already. Where people are going to abuse this, right? And in the friendly fire, they're just going to grieve you on that and just screw up your whole game and your stats and everything. So we'll see what Ubisoft's going to do. This I'm not worried about because I don't play player versus player. So I'm leaving that up to Delta Elite and all those guys over there to worry about all this crap. And as far as ghost mode, I'm not going to play with anybody for the most part. I'll probably play with Red Scorpion and a couple other people that I know. And if they screw my shit up the first time they screw my shit up, I won't play with them again. Again, because I can show you stats. Again, I'm not trying to brag, but I, in Arma 3, I can run, you know, a few hour session and get rack up three to 400 kills. And most of the time I have one or two deaths. Lots of times I have no deaths. Okay, so I'm quite good at being evasive and killing people. So for me, this is what I wanted to see in the game originally anyways. No AI, me on my own, doing my thing. Just like in Fallen Ghosts. That's why I love Fallen Ghosts. Okay, so let me get this video up real quick and we can start the controversy on the forum here about the whole friendly fire and observer mode. Alright, and with 
you guys have done in your comments below. And I know I haven't been able, to, I haven't been saying, you know, if you like it, like and subscribe. And, you know, I'm just below 5,000 and that's cool. And got a lot of real world stuff I'm doing. I'm painting and lots of construction and crap around the house and had an excavator. First time using a big backhoe on an excavator. So that was quite an experience teaching myself how to use one of those, but I rocked. Somebody, uh, somebody's talking shit. So anyways, let me get this video up real quick. And like I said, we'll see where it goes tomorrow, man. Because I'm going to be doing a live stream tomorrow. So we'll see what happens, right? We'll probably do some Ghost War too to show you guys if it works. Or, you know, if we get some stupid TKers over there. So until I see you in a little bit here, as always, this is Sergeant.